Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're jumping into Disney Dreamlight Valley. You probably already know what this game is. It's a live sim game, but inside the Disney universe. Literally for all you cozy gamers out there, what more do you need, honestly? There's so much hype surrounding this game right now. Everyone is playing, so I've teamed up with Disney Dreamlight Valley to share my first experience with the game and to just show you what you can expect. Anyway, I've been playing for a little while. We started off by meeting Merlin, the adorable wizard, shortly after picking the perfect Disney hairstyle for my character. Merlin explains the valley has been taken over by darkness. I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's our job to learn magic and save the valley. We have this house here. This is ours to do what we want with, but more on that later. Now, as you'd expect, there's a bunch of tutorial quests to start with and things to get you used to the game, but honestly, I spent the first hour just collecting resources and tidying up thorns and weeds around town. It's super fun but what I really should have been doing is finding some tools to help me track down the first few characters. I met Scrooge McDuck who encourages me to do even more exploring which is cool. I lifted some of the dark magic, I know, pretty cool right? And then that led me to finding Goofy who is the Tom Nook of Disney in the valley and of course none other than Mickey Mouse himself. During this time you get to learn a bunch of skills, hoard a bunch of resources and start to get quite familiar with the valley. Anyway after spending way too too long exploring and getting sidetracked with picking apples and raspberries, I was able to make enough money to reopen Scrooge McDuck's store and suddenly all I wanted to do was design my house, which we'll get to shortly. In here we can find large furniture items, smaller accessories and a bunch of clothing and headwear. You can take this game in many directions, but this is really where it starts being unique for each player. Anyway, this brings us pretty much up to date and after a few more quests and a fresh change of clothes, we're close to inviting our first Disney resident into the valley. So I thought it'd be cool to jump into some actual live gameplay so you can experience what it's like to play and see a bit further into the game. We'll start by completing the quest to invite Wally and bring the video to a close by designing our house for the very first time using all of the furniture we've unlocked so far. Let's get into it. <gasps> oh! Wally! Very cute. Oh no, he's stuck. There we are, we, we can, oh, we made him jump. We can help. Okay, so we're in a new realm. So we've, we've actually left uh, Dreamlight Valley. And I think we need to help Wally clear up some of this mess here. So I've been really excited to finally meet some new characters outside of the Dream Valley. So it's cool that we, you kind of get to pick. This is where everybody's story is gonna start kind of going off on their own direction. Okay, we're just going to clear this for Wally. We're going to help out a little bit. Oh, he's hidden. Okay, looks like we've got a whole load of resources here. I'm wondering if we should be able to invite Wally back to um, our realm. Whoa, hi there, I'm Maury. Wally. <laughs> Hello, Wally. Um, I'm here to help. I want to take you away from here. <gasps> What's wrong? Oh, you can't move. Uh, I'll find something to fix it. Phew! Okay, what have we got to do? We need to help Wally so we can move Wally out of here. Okay, let's do some digging. Maybe we'll find something. Okay, I think we found something. Maybe. Oh no, it's another shovel. Okay, we have something to fix Wally. We have his little track there, so we give that to him. Yay! Hey, I'm so excited to move Wally in, hopefully. I think that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, Wally, you're fixed. Mmm. Oh, directive, Earth. You're trying to clean up the Earth? Whistles. <laughs> Would you like some help? Looks like you're turning this trash into stackable cubes. I bet I could do that at a crafting station. So now we've got to basically craft some cubes here. We need to help um, Wally out, so we're just going to go and do as many as we can, I think. There we go, trash cubes. Wally's moving around now as well. Here we go, we're gonna give Wally a trash cube, save him some jobs. Uh, you want to be there to be more plants? We can do that, we need more plant seeds. There we go, so we're planting th uh, three new plants and some other plants we planted earlier. Hopefully that should be enough. Oh, I think we, I think we need to water the uh, plants. There we go. 
There we go. We planted the last seed and we're just going to water it. And hopefully it should grow into the final little tree for Wally. If we have to give it a second to grow. <laughs> they look beautiful. I'm glad I could help you here. But now I need your help, Wally. Oh, will you come to my village? Okay, so we've done all the jobs for Wally. Very close to being able to move Wally into... Um, the valley, but we need to go and get Merlin's help. Uh, the shy little robot needs some persuasion to move to the valley. Hmm, ah yes, I remember now, a charming little robot. He seemed rather happy in the valley before. I suppose you must first win his trust. Consider, what does he like? Even if they seem like trash to you. Talk to Scrooge McDuck, he's a collector too, you know. He might have some bits and baubles around that we can bring to Wally. Who knows? Maybe Mr. McDuck's trash can become Wally's treasure. Greetings, Maureen. What can I do for you this fair day? I need to find an interesting object for a friend. Like a... Oh, a fire extinguisher. Yes. Well, here you are, your own fire extinguisher. This should definitely be helpful when it comes to inviting Wally. Yes, we found a boot with a plant in it. A sprout boot. Uh, so that's what we needed from Goofy to... We're trying to find items basically to get Wally to come to um, the valley. But we need items off of everyone. We got a fire extinguisher of Scrooge McDuck. We got a boot from Goofy. And we just need something from Mickey, really. Oh, a ball. May I have it? Of course, it's back at my house. Okay, we found the ball. It's in Mickey's house. The Pixar ball. Uh, that's another going to be another cool gift for Wally. Okay, we found all the items we need to invite Wally. The fire extinguisher, a plant in a boot, and the Pixar ball. These are all things that should make Wally more comfortable with moving in. So that's really exciting. There we go. Hey, Wally, I think we've completed your quests. Do you want to give these items, fire extinguisher, ball, sprout boot? Yes, we'll give these to Wally. There you go. You definitely deserve them. You're a hard-working little robot. Whistles. <laughs> I hope you feel at home in the valley. There's lots more to collect there. Whoopee! Okay, so we've got to find somewhere to put Wally's house in the rain. It's raining again. I think, whoa, heavy rain. I think we should place it near our house. There we go. I don't know how big this is going to be. Uh, that maybe that's enough, actually. Let's see if we can uh, put it in front of our house. There we go. So we've got, what? oh, it's Wally's truck. There we go. Wow, that's big. Can we rotate it? Okay, we placed it, uh, Wally's house. We've just got to kind of upgrade it now, it looks like. Oh, that's so cool. Wally's little home. We did it. We invited Wally, our first villager, into town. Yes, we definitely need to take a photo. <laughs> so cute. Okay, Wally's now officially a member of the valley. Um, so after lots of exploring, lots of foraging, lots of quests, uh, meeting all the folks that are already in town, like Mickey and Goofy and Scrooge McDuck and Merlin, we finally invited Wally, which is super cool. And look at his house. We've parked it right outside of our house just because I feel like Wally needs a friend and it's just a really cool item. But now I think that we've invited Wally, we've changed our clothes and we need to spend a bit more time in our house. So we're going to quickly decorate with all of the items we've found so far. So here we have a whole bunch of things. The game doesn't really tell you this, but all items that you find, I believe are in these uh, little pouches and we've got a bunch of them. So you just use it. And you get different things. So we a comfy black hoodie. Cool. We'll open up a couple of these and see what we've got. Yellow Mickey high top. A lavish black dining chair. Red athletic glasses. Red skinny jeans. A Mickey Mouse mirror. A black mini backpack, which is really cool. A red performance sneakers. Nice. Plain turquoise t-shirt. Red Mickey ear headband. Blue Mickey and mini patch pants, which are really cool. And the last item is... Something cool, hopefully. Uh, classic aviator goggles. <laughs> awesome. So there we have it. We can now look in our furniture. And we've got... We can pretty much look at everything we've got here. We've unlocked so many things. Part of this is the DLC. 
But a lot of this we've unlocked as we've played through the game. We've got windows, furniture, beds, wallpapers, floors, pretty much everything. Um, but the game doesn't, it kind of doesn't tell you that you can get the furniture from these pouches. So every time you find one, pick it up, open it straight away, and it will go off into your storage. So I think now we need to do a bit of decorating. So I really think... I kind of like this silly area rug. So let's do it in the corner somewhere. Um, and I'm thinking that we should... What, what else should we do? We definitely want a dining table in here somewhere. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe in the middle of the rug somewhere. I'm hoping that we can move um, some of these things. Let's move this thing out of the way. There we go. Uh, we're just going to move some of the stuff we've got, basically. So this is just going to be a quick build with some of the things that we've... Um... Whoa, we can move the fireplace. Some of the things that we've unlocked already. Um... There we go. So we... this is a nice little corner already. So let's go ahead and see if we can get... Hey, have we got a cool... Oh, there we go. A graphic sofa. Oh, it's got the Pixar ball on it. It's very modern. I don't think that kind of goes with our rug, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Okay, let's place this. This is much cooler. Okay, we're going to go with... Um, do you know what? We're going to have to... Oh, we've got the chandelier now. There we go. We're going to put this in the corner instead. And we're just going to move this table out a bit. Actually, do you know what? I don't think we should have this table. Let's get a different table. We're going to kind of copy the style from what they've got in their houses. They, they quite often go with a triangle um, table. So I think we could just use that. Um, I really like this castle painting. It's kind of a must-have item, isn't it? So we're going to put that in the corner. That looks really cozy, actually. And, of course, we we bought Mickey's frame from the... Um, wait, can we put it over here somewhere? Actually, do you know what? Let's keep it on this wall here. I think we need a different wallpaper. Oh, here we go. Look, a white gold embossed wall. I think we're going to have to stick with the blue-gray for now until we unlock some more. We need to get rid of this, I think. Let's um, let's remove some of the things that we're not going to we're not going to use here. There, we're just gonna have to move this, I think, for now. Actually, we could probably put it next to the sofa. There we go. So we had to move the chandelier to get the arcade machine in, uh, but now we have room to put the entertainment system in. And we're gonna move this chest, I think. There we go. We'll put the chest in the corner. We should just be able to move this over a uh, tile. There we go. We finally got it in there. Um, what else have we got? We've got so many things. I kind of don't really know what's best. Oh, a wall planter. Yes, we definitely have to have a wall planter. We like lots of things on the wall. Actually, I'm wondering, can we get rid of this? Yeah, this has got to go. Okay, the windows have got to go. Okay, so this is looking a bit more cool. I think, have we got, wow. Wow. I'm putting that in just because we we just because we've unlocked it. What we've got so many things. A grand piano. Have we got space for this? I think we could have space, couldn't we? If we if we move this chest over here, there, and then we should be able to put this in the corner. So there we go. So we've actually decorated our house for the first time. It's a little bit mismatched because we've still got a whole bunch of things to unlock. Um, but to, to start with, I think this is pretty good. We've still got our storage and we've got kind of somewhere to chill and recuperate and get our energy back. We've also got some cool things that we've unlocked like the window, the banners, the arcade machine, the first thing that we bought right at the start and this awesome entertainment machine. I would like in the future to get a new wallpaper maybe, change up the floor a little bit. But I think to start with, uh, especially with our outfit, this is actually pretty cool and of course um, we're a couple of hours into the game and we've met a bunch of Disney characters we've invited Wally into the valley which is really cool that was one of the goals I wanted to do because Wally is one of my favorite characters um, pretty much anyone from Pixar I absolutely love so I'm super excited for the Toy Story event but yeah this is just really cool gives you an idea of the sort of things we can do we can customize we can craft we can decorate and we can do all this outside as well we can lay paths and things like that and of course get resources forage and things like that so I definitely would say if you like 
like the kind of life sim or the farming games, it's definitely worth checking out. Thank you, of course, to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. Um, and it's really cool to be able to share this with you guys. The game, I can tell, is going to be a lot of fun. Moving forward, they're going to have tons and tons of updates and DLC, so definitely look out for it. I'll leave the links in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this something you're interested in? Would you like to see more videos about this? Let me know your favorite things so far, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, of course, to the patron and channel members, and I'll see you next time. Bye!